Hi Ram, all the devotees, my brothers and sisters. Today I am going to talk about the most important book, which is a pothi, which is very important for all the Sai Baba devotees throughout the world. And the name of the book is Shri Sai Satcharitra. I'll show you the book. This book was originally written in Marathi by Shri Govind Raghunath Dabholkar. Shri Govind Raghunath Dabholkar was he was born in 1859 and he died in year 1929. He was himself a very staunch Shirdi Sai Baba devotee himself and who on seeing some of the miracles felt such an he uh, such an urge came from the bottom of his heart that he wished to write an account of them for the devotees this type of inspiration only the guru can give the god can give it is not under the control of a devotee then i will tell you something about shri govind r dabholkar his background he was a servant of the bombay government and his last appointment was as a magistrate in bandra which is a suburb of bombay but a poet by heart and well versed in gyaneshwari Ganeshwar is also written in Marathi language. Ek Nathi Bhagwat. And the like, he was able to move the hearts of the devotees and confirm them in their faith through this poetic composition in Marathi. This book contains philosophical wisdom. There are facts and when a reader starts the Parayan, he feels that Baba is himself guiding him in the Bhakti Mark. And maybe Baba may have foreseen the result for even before he had started writing the book, Shri Sain Satcharita. Baba once jokingly conferred on the author the title Himad Pant. See, the actual name is Govind Raghunath Dhabolkarji. But Baba called him by the name. He gave him the title Himad Pant. Now, who was this Himad Pant? He was a learned court poet and author of Yadvas in the 13th century and his name was Hemad Pan. So Baba called, gave the title Hemad Pan to Shri Govind Raghunath Dhabolkar. This signifies that you are also very intelligent, capable, you have the potential what Hemad Pan had. So this is a sort of blessing for a devotee from the Guru himself, the Guru is speaking. And as one completes the reading of the book, the mind is filled with pure love and devotion for the Guru. And in the introduction of this book, this is a English translation this is an English translation 
of the original marathi pothi which was done by hemant pant ji and this book was translated by dr indira kher ji now you may think you may have a doubt in your mind that how come dr indira kher she translated the original pothi in english now let me tell you dr indira kher mother tongue is marathi and she has done her phd in english language it means she has knowledge of marathi as well as english so it was very easy with the grace of satguru sainath maharaj ji she could easily understand the marathi verses and then she translated those marathi verses which were written by govind ragunath dabolkar ji to whom baba called himmatpan and dr indra kher she also took a lot of time to translate the marathi version into english because the real problem was say people like us who don't know marathi language it was simply not possible for us to read what hemant pant ji has written so for the benefit of devotees dr indra kher rendered a wonderful seva at the lotus feet of shirdi sai baba she has translated this book see the thickness of the book total pages are let me tell you 883 pages and this book is published by sterling publishers new delhi in the introduction of the book let me tell you what is the significance of the book it says shri sai sat charitra is the bible of sai devotees in every sense of the word it is a verse composition originally in marathi styled on the renowned ek nathi bhagwat this book was written in marathi in the style in the way which ek nathi bhagwat has been written the book runs into 53 chapters there are in all 53 chapters and contains 9308 verses total verses in the original marathi is 9308 verses and this book also but this is the line to line translation of what hemant pant ji has done in marathi so this is the english version it contains 9308 verses <clears throat> every chapter each chapter has a judicious judicious mixture of philosophy stories and anecdotes of sai baba teachings the book is essentially a pothi or gatha its idea was conceived during baba's lifetime that means before 1980 18 before 1918 the idea of writing of this sort of book came into the mind of himat panji with baba's permission guidance is coming that positive vibration that energy is being provided by sadguru saina maharaj ji and it was with the blessings and express permission of shirdi sai baba that the work was begun by the author who was a frequent visitor to shirdi himat pant ji used to visit shirdi often on the book was first published in year 1929 
द फर्स्ट पब्लिकेशन ऑफ दिस मराठी वर्षन इट केम इन ईयर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी नाइन so the book has been rendered into english chapter by chapter verse by verse and line by line this is a line to line exact translation into english from originally written marathi and this is a really magnificent achievement this is really a magnificent achievement then it has been written clearly in this book i'll tell you baba has said what baba has said is if my leelas are recorded then any sins committed through ignorance ignorance because of ignorance we are unaware and due to this ignorance of a bhakta of a devotee the sins are committed and but when we read this book all the sins will be dissipated and when these are listened to when we listen to what has been written in the shri sai satcharitra with faith and devotion these criteria these parameters are very important they are mandatory in the bhakti marg we must have full confidence full faith and devotion at the lotus feet of sadguru maharaj the cares and troubles of worldly life will be forgotten we will forget all the troubles which keep on troubling us waves of love and devotion will surge on the ocean of the listening process diving again and again into which will bring gems of wisdom in your hand in whose hand in the hands of a bhakta in the hands of a devotee so may the grace of sai baba envelop them whom devotees we are the devotees we are the children of shirdi sai baba envelop them in his loving embrace so this is the introduction which has been given and then it is written that sai baba was the guru ma sai baba the mark which shirdi sai baba gave to us that is guru bhakti mark it has been clearly mentioned here and without the help without the grace of a guru we cannot get self realization it has been clearly written in the spoke it has been clearly mentioned but what happens is we just go through the book we don't understand what has been stated by our sadguru we don't follow those rules clearly it has been written guru being the incarnation of god guru is the incarnation of god without his grace and guidance the highest goal of human existence what is the goal of this human body to get self realization who will give this self realization perfect master of the time only he can give you brahm gyan self realization so it is written the highest goal of human existence which is god realization or self realization can never be achieved unless and until you come and take shelter at the lotus feet of perfect master of the time and then it is written clearly mentioned we have to understand all these facts but once the devotee succeeds in winning the guru's grace the guru takes his responsibility see what guru is saying i will take all your responsibilities we must have faith in whatever guru says 
not only for this birth mind you not for this birth but for the birth after birth till the goal is reached till the goal is reached then sai baba advocated to his devotees the easier path of bhakti or devotion to the guru the guru grace can be won by absolute faith in and total surrender to the guru and by infinite patience forbearance courage courage all these are the requirements for a sadhak we have to be patient courage must be in the heart of all the sign devotees this was the only guru dakshina baba himself expected from each devotee so today i told you that devotees still doesn't have an idea they are not aware of this fact that this is the actual line to line translation of what was written by hemad pant ji govind ragunath dabolkar ji in marathi so this book see the thickness of the book 9308 verses which were written by hemad pant ji has been translated into english by dr indira kher ji who was a professor of english she did her phd in english and there is another news for all the hindi readers baba gave me the seva to translate this book which was written by hemad pant ji in marathi then it was translated by dr indra kher ji it took me 5 years to do this translation line to line translation this is line to line translation of marathi shri sai sacharitra in hindi we have given wonderful photographs in this all the facts which has been given in the book we have given all the photographs i'll show you the what the chapters which will we read all the photographs have been given here of the devotees of their houses so we have given a wonderful presentation of whatever we are reading say i am reading about madhav rao desh pandey now i will have a feeling in my mind how madhav rao ji looked if i am reading about pradhan ji if i am reading about nana sab chandorkar so all the photograph of the devotees rege ji bhai maharaj kumbhar gopal rao puti dikshit ji bala sahab dev nana sahab chandorkar saktanekar dada sahab thaparde pale narsimha swami nandram sankleja kaka mahajani lakshman nulkar dattatre damodar asne so the list is very long you will find all the photographs in the book so today with the blessings of shirdi sai baba i have given you the information of authentic translations of the marathi shri sai satcharitra in english which was done by dr indra kher ji and in hindi done by myself so all the readers who want to get the actual line to line translation they want to read in depth what hemat pant ji has written you can go for these books vik bhaiya usha ma sunanda rao ma will help you nagraj bhaiya you can contact any one of us the admin any one of us we will help you in getting the books so with the grace of shirdi sai baba today i have given you the account for these two books in the next satsang we will have the information about other rare books we have to go we have to check the authenticity of the book you cannot go and pick up any book and start reading because whatever has been written 
in Baba's lifetime, what the research Das Guru Maharaj Ji has done, Narsimha Swami Ji has done, Hemat Panj Ji has done, we have to follow on the same lines. That's what Dr. Vinni Chitluri also did. Ma Vinni, she was very particular. She did follow the path what has been done, what was done in Marathi, she translated into English because we don't know Marathi. No? So many things have been given in Sain Leela, but we are unaware of the fact. So Dr. Vinni Chitluri has translated everything in English. We will come on to all those books also. So, Sairam to all my brothers and sisters.